Garbage man of Reddit, what is the grossest thing you've seen in the garbage? I was a garbage man on the mid 90s in the Hamptons. One day I backed up my reloading garbage truck to a small dumpster at a fish market. The stench was terrible but you get used to it. I turned the engine off for whatever reason, maybe to check something. Jumped out of the truck to hook up the dumpster and noticed that the lid was open and covered with rice. Rice everywhere. I couldn't believe that someone would dump something so recklessly. Then I noticed that the rice was moving. It was maggots. The maggots were moving. One maggot does not make a sound but when thousands move, it sounds like an egg frying. I gagged at the sound. I wish I hadn't read this. Maggots are one of the things that gross me out the most. If you're into hearing about garbage stories I recommend Lake of Sleeping Children by Luis Alberto Aria. Like half of the book is him talking about the crap he saw in the dump in Tijuana, Mexico. Spoilers. The poor who literally live in the dumps bury their children in the dump. And when it rains the children always come up. Not buried deep enough the water causes there to be this gross lake of trash and dead children. The lake of sleeping children. Obviously the book does a much better job of describing the scene. I just had a horrible flashback to traveling through rural Mexico during floods. The drainage ditch next to the cemetery became a river. Floating coffins. Many floating dead dogs. Unspeakable water coming in the doors of my tiny car. It's really hard to think about. I apologized to the man who had the pleasure to open our can in the early 80s. Dad put the entrails of a roadkill deer in with the severed head on top. Not a garbage man. But my uncle-in-law used to be one in Russia soon after the collapse of the USSR. He said one day he saw a severed head in the garbage, significantly mutilated, with a severed finger, one would presume the deceased's, jammed into the mouth. He left that profession soon after for construction. What a horrible way to commit suicide. My fiancé's cousin saw a dead calf in one of the dumpsters he was picking up. Also, her dad has been bitten by a rat and has been pricked by a syringe. Gnarly stuff. Not a garbage man, but I used to clean out houses for a realtor. After they bought foreclosures at auctions, this one house was classified as a two-family, three-story home. And for the first few days we couldn't get through the front door. YP magazines piled about four feet high in every single room. You literally would have to walk on them to get from room to room. They were moldy, and absolutely disgusting. We also found three large freezers filled to the brim with food, and the house had been unoccupied for about three years at this point. Uh, I'm currently dealing with two weeks of rotten food and dirty dishes after my roommate robbed me and took off while I was on vacation. I can smell the old pork chops every time I forget and open the fridge, on top of the gross dishes. He also stole all of the air conditioners. I can't even imagine. When I was a private we had to sort the trash every Thursday. I once found a red dong pump. You better double the latex gloves with those things around. One credit card receipt for Swedish made penis enlarger signed by Austin Powers. Not me but a friend used to work at a garbage dump driving the bulldozer. Not sure if this is common knowledge or not, but a lot of waste disposal companies really are owned by mafia. And this was no exception. One day he was complaining to his boss about his ex-wife, and how she was fricking him over in alimony payments and his kid's visitation schedule. And his boss said to him without an ounce of humor, You know, you're a good boy, like family. You just say the word and we can have her delivered here in a roll of carpet. And he thought of all the rolls of carpet he'd buried as part of his job over the years. Like, I want to say cool but at the same time not cool. Actually, not cool. Not cool. Also, interesting fact. Not a garbage man, but used to go dumpster diving as a teen once the college students left. We found a dead giant Amazon parrot covered in maggots. A baby doll turned into a flashlight and dentures. That was a weird summer. I like how dentures made it on the list. My dog. I was about 14 years old and my mom ran over my dog. She died in my arms staring into my eyes. My mom told me she would take care of it because I was grieving. She didn't. She just put her in a black plastic bag and threw her away with the garbage. I only found out because my mother didn't do a good job and the garbage men just tossed her trash bag covered body in the ditch and some kind of animal got at her. I mustered up the courage and took her body and buried her in the swamp. 
like I should have in the first place, that was hard to write about. I can't imagine the disrespect, it must have bothered you a lot to see your companion treated like trash. I hope your dog is resting peacefully, sorry you had to go through that. Garbage man here 9 years and counting. Full skin and head of a pig also of a deer. The pig was laid off flat like a steamroller ran over it in the hopper. I have only ever puked once and that was due to buckets of rotting chicken and a jerk marinade. The smell was so strong my truck stunk for 3 days. Humans do that too. A properly bloated corpse of a person. The face looks almost cartoonish with a swelled up tongue in the mouth. Swelled lips and cheeks and eyes sometimes bugging out. Almost like they are blowing a horn really hard. Also the entire head the color of a grape. Not a garbage man. But some butthole left a freaking guinea pig in the trash. I rescued that little bugger as fast as I could. Edit. She was alive when I found her. This was a year ago. And she is still here today. I named her Ophelia. A week later I saw one of those meme about Switzerland or some other country making it illegal to own only one guinea pig. So I got another one. Peanut has no back feet and as soon as I saw her I was like, yes. Good man. Not a garbage man. But I used to renovate houses with my mom. Once found a bag of dead fish under the sink, waiting to be thrown away. And not like big fish, just a crap ton of goldfish with a bunch of maggots and stuff in the mix. God, that house was a nightmare. Crap in the toilet, cigarette butts in the bed, and a giant freaking fish tank are some highlights. I'm so sorry to the garbage men that had to deal with rotten food after hurricanes. We lost power for two weeks. Garbage didn't run until about then, because all the damage and debris. Seriously have not eaten chicken since then. That smell was so bad. So so bad. Next time when the power goes out from a large storm, cook everything if you have a gas grill and have a party with the others in your neighborhood. You will make new friends. I'm in the industry. Stone years back, mixed recyclables that had already been dropped off at a facility for processing were being moved to a conveyor belt when a body was found. Some dude sleeping in a dumpster got emptied into a truck and crushed. It happens on a fairly regular basis. One of the guys I worked with tipped a front load bin downtown and a homeless man fell out and slammed into the ground from 13 feet in the air. The man got up and limped off before a ambulance could get there. My father is not exactly a garbage man. But he renovates houses of hoarders or people who recently passed away. One time he had to clean the flat of a guy who died in there but wasn't found until the neighbors noticed the smell. Of course the body was gone, but there was like a print of it on the carpet, made of body fluids. I've seen the photo when I was pretty young and it creeped me out so hard back then. Some other highlights are handbags made out of dead rats and a few bin liners full of human teeth. NYC sanitation worker for 15 years here. I've seen my fair share of gross stuff. This one from the East Village a few year ago takes the cake. A full size wax statue of B. Arthur from the Golden Girls, wearing S&M gear with a built in flashlight strapped onto her waist, covered in maple syrup and glitter. Don't stop, I'm almost there. Not a garbage man but I did do community service in NYC after getting arrested when I was like 16 on a sanitation truck for the parks. I lifted up a steel garbage can and a bunch of freaking dog shit or maybe even human crap fell out of it all over my clothes and rotten milk also. Someone took rotten milk and dog shit and just filled the whole can up with it. My sweater was ruined and I stunk for the whole day in like 90 degree weather. To top it off I couldn't even see any of this because a 50 pound AC unit was covering it all so that was a nice surprise. I worked as a rural trash guy for a while. We had a pretty, thrifty setup, pickup truck and a horse trailer. Every house I'd have to get out, pull bags out of the provided can and toss it in the trailer before moving on. Worst though was someone who put out a bucket of what I can only assume was waste from an RV's facilities. Dang thing wasn't even sealed and slashed all over me when I picked it up. Not a garbage man but just want to thank all of you that are one of the most underrated jobs out there. Society wouldn't function without you guys. Perhaps not underrated but definitely underappreciated. Not a garbage man but my friend's dad is and he showed us a pic of one trash can with a raccoon in it and the raccoon was eating a dead mouse. When I say dead I mean dead. Like rotten. 
My friend was a garbage man and some things he told me. Poop from an animal shelter that when compacted. Sprayed all over him and the other guy who were loading. A can full of maggots after someone threw away raw chicken. Like the video he showed me was all just white squirming things in a full garbage can. H needles at parks beaches playgrounds. Human poop at parks beaches playgrounds. Condoms at parks beaches playgrounds. The good. A case of Captain Morgan rum all unopened. A baby grand piano he made into a coffee table. A dumpster full of neon signs from an old liquor store. Glad that Capt Morgan rum came in handy for prepping you for what's next. Not a garbage man, but a mechanic spent 5 years fixing them. Was once changing a hydraulic ram for the compactor in the back for the truck. Some rubbish always get left behind when they empty the truck. There was a diaper in the way. I stupidly tried to push it out of the way with a screwdriver and pierce the diaper. Who shot out under pressure and hit me in the face. I vomited and spent the next half an hour under a shower trying to make myself feel clean again. Not a garbage man, but used to clean student shared accommodation. During turnover time Christmas, July, there's a dumping period where people left their stuff behind. Anyway, I'll list three of the worst. 1. A rice cooker. This rice cooker had been left and cleared for so long that there were maggots and adult flies living in there. We hadn't seen it before because it was in a student's room. 2. Stock soup vegetable packs that were left open and had been off for 5 months next to grey bacon slices. The smell was wonderful. Another group passed through after us and took anything that wasn't rotten for themselves. A resident accosted us for it and those workers got out of it scot-free. I still cringe thinking that the guy was eating food that was stored right next to mold and bacteria that had months to cultivate. 3. Had to clean out the room of a junkie. Crack pipes were the least of our problems. The stove was yellow from grease and the grease trap was filled with dead flies. An uncomfortable amount of grease and moldy pieces of food that had jumped from his pan. Sharps. Got stuck by one when I first started in the industry. Now get tested for all the horrible crap every 6 months for the rest of my life. Pay is good though. A skin sheep's head, with eyes and tongue still attached. A 24 inches long, filthy vibrator. The worst were the skunks. We picked up at a trailer park and got a dead skunk and a load. Cletus from the Simpsons was right mind the skunk. They can go off even after they's dead. I was unloading at the fill once, and had to step up onto the rear step with the tail open to clean the tailgate seal. You can get fined if your truck is leaking garbage juice, and debris on the deal is a common cause. As I stepped back down, I caught my heel and fell 3 feet, into a recently dumped pile of black dirt. It wasn't dirt. The driver next to me yelled out, you okay? Yeah, you know what that is, right? Double quote. Sure do. It was a load of sludge from the sewage treatment plant. Luckily it was fairly dry, and didn't stink too much. I was wearing gloves, so I only got my clothes dirty. Still nasty, though. Not a garbage man, but one fatterful evening all three of my younger siblings came down with the worst cases of the stomach flu, I didn't get it cause I'd been sick earlier in the week. So basically by the end of the night there were around 18 puked in bags in our dumpster. I was a garbage man for two days. The literal trash wasn't very interesting, but I had to work with a flat earther, so there's that. Capital F. I'd go ahead and have people hating me by saying not a garbage man, but, I have an awesome story. So, I have a big brother who isn't a stop motion animation since several years ago. He has been doing short films and puppets for other directors. In his first short film, he had a scene where his humanoid-like puppet suffered a transformation. Think like a metamorphosis. So he had an extra puppet all pink and slimy with veins and liquid paint. Short film is finished. The rent place where he filmed had to be cleaned up and stuff. So as it was of no longer use importance to him, he threw away the slimy puppet. Later on, he tells me that apparently, a hobo was digging up the trash bags he left behind at the street, and he found the pink, slimy, all veins covered puppet, and freaking freaked out thinking it was a fetus. Police was called, they investigated the puppet, thinking it was maybe an illegal abortion or something like that, found out it was a fake. But all the neighborhood, Santa Teresita, wouldn't hear it, for a while, 
A room I had it that there was a Santa Terrace Eaters witch somewhere in the neighborhood. My brother was a witch. An evil witch performing satanic rituals on aborted fetuses. That's so ridiculously funny. Imagine being called to investigate a dumped fetus and it's a puppet. There's probably a police threat somewhere with a police officer saying he once found a fake puppet fetus and still wonders why someone made it. Not a garbage man, but my parents owned a storage unit business. Occasionally we had to evict and empty units. We emptied a unit in the middle of July that hadn't paid in 6 months. Hottest day of the year. There was a 6 featuring freezer in there that we pulled out. It smelled a little funky until we opened it. Words can't describe how nasty the smell was. Closest I've come to throwing up from just a smell. It was full of rotting meat. Apparently this guy didn't have room at home for this freezer, so he stored his meat he got from hunting in the storage unit during the winter. Perfect plan except there was no electricity in the unit and he died at some point during the winter. When my sister's house caught on fire, the cleanup guy working on my niece's room was told by my friend that she was the sweetest, holiest, she's very religious, girl you'll ever meet. He found a collection of dildos in my niece's room. One was a massive, like my bigger than my hand, black dildo that was worn out from use. We all had an awkward laugh. A few months later, my sister was like oh yeah those were mine. I wonder how they wound up in there it was TMI overload. One of my co-workers used to be garbage man before. Head hold onto the back of the truck and throw the garbage in. One time he found this big box of pee and intense sex toys. Like huge double end dildos kind of stuff. This isn't my story but I had a friend tell me this and unfortunately show me photographs. He was sort of a clean up guy for a real estate company whenever they foreclosed on a house one house he had to clean was perfectly fine until he got to the upstairs closet. Little 20 gallon bins the plastic kind that you buy at Walmart to put things in for storage. Filled with human fesses. No toilet paper no diapers just the fesses. From the floor to the top of the closet so tightly packed into that closet that when they pulled the first one out they almost tipped the whole thing over on top of themselves. I guess the guy just really wanted to stick it to the bank. A goonier pig's lower part was squeezed flat, intestines hanging around his front legs, which was still intact. Poor bastard was still alive. I'm a mechanic for a garbage company. Worst thing I have seen was a severed cow head sitting behind the pack blade of a fell, was changing the cylinders of this specific truck and had to remove said head. In all honesty it wasn't that bad other than the truck had been sitting in the summer heat for 3 days with the head back there. The smell got to me worse than anything. The grossest thing I had ever happened to me, while working outside at a gas station. I was under the truck and a homeless guy decided he needed to take a pee, right on my legs torso. I contemplated quitting that day. Maggots and roaches were always the worst for me, not gross but deaf what made me the angriest that summer I spent as a garbage man. A trash bag full of gasoline, yep, a giant gasoline balloon. When I threw it in the truck it exploded gas all over me. Tip your garbage men, I always give our guys money around Christmas, they will take anything when you take care of them. At ranch camp the counselors put a rotting corpse of a horse on the girl's porch. After emotionally scarring them they proceeded to put the zombie horse in the dump. Worked preventive maintenance at our church, repairs, garbage, painting, in high school during the summer, though we saw this as part of youth group. When the church bought the house across the street the youth went over to clean it up. The carpet pads were stuck to the hardwood floors because of dog urine. A pair of underwear had a maxipod in it, just on the floor. As one of the girls said, there are pads everywhere. Not me personally, but a vet tech where I used to work was taking out the trash and noticed a weird bag moving. So they brought it back inside and that's how I got my ball python. I worked for the city parks for a few years. Off a trail we found a garbage bag, threw it in the back of the truck and took it back to the yard. We noticed that it smelled unusually terrible, kind of like sour milk, stale ketchup chips, and puke. It was nasty. We cut it open and noticed thick black hair and flesh. We freaked out thinking it was a dismembered body or worse, a child. It turned out to be a dog that someone put in a bag and left off the trail. It was sad and gross at the same time. Not a garbage man, 
but used to clean out apartments after evictions. This one place was reasonably clean but smelled like death. We scoured every room trying to find the source, eventually narrowed it down to this one couch. My colleague cut open the back, and caught in the springs were the rotting carcasses of a family of hedgehogs. Figured the tenants had found a mother and kids and rescued them. God knows how they got into the couch. We dragged the whole thing outside and burned it. Another place also seemed normal until we found the dog food. The building had a no pets rule, so we asked the neighbors if the previous tenants had a dog. They said yeah, maybe a chihuahua, they heard it yipping sometimes. Then we found the dog leash and an old collar, seemed a bit big for a chihuahua. All this was in the bedroom, lifted up the bed to find a whole hidden collection of sticky, dog themed, BDSM equipment, interspersed with doggy treats and used condoms. I'm not one to kink shame but clean your toys after use, also don't leave them for me to find. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe, I publish new videos every day, until then, check another video. Bye for now.